First at five, a botched surgery with deadly consequences. Tonight, the woman who posed as a doctor learns her fate. Good evening, I'm Gilma Avalos. I'm Adam Cooperstein. It was a plastic surgery meant to improve someone's look and their life. Instead, it cost a woman her life. And prosecutors say Waleska Castillo pretended to be a surgeon and performed illegal butt injections in the Bronx. One of her patients ended up dying, and tonight Castillo came face to face with the victim's family in court as she was sentenced to prison. News 4's Miles Miller is live in the concourse section of the Bronx with the emotional moments in court. Miles? And a lot of the emotions came from Castillo's own family, just devastated that their mother, their sister, their daughter in all those cases would be sentenced to four to eight years in prison. But the victim's family said that's not enough. A miscarriage of justice, that's how the family of the woman who died from an illegal butt injection described the four to eight year sentence imposed by the court. Four years is not enough. I think that today was a great injustice to my family, to my sister. Waleska Castillo, a woman with no medical license, pleaded guilty to manslaughter in the June 2018 death of 48 year old Lesbia Ayala. Seeking to enhance her figure, Ayala turned to Castillo, a fake surgeon who injected silicone into Ayala's buttocks and thighs. The procedure turned fatal when Ayala died from an embolism, a direct result of those injections. She has children and grandchildren that she's never going to get to see. Um, Waleska is going to get out and see her children. Castillo's procedures were not done in a state-of-the-art clinic. They were performed in her Bronx home, and this wasn't her first run-in with the law. Back in 2018, Castillo was sentenced to a year in federal prison and fined $100,000 for running an illegal cosmetic clinic. The courtroom was heavy with emotions on both sides, with Castillo telling the court, ever since this happened, I've been regretting it so much. The judge considered various factors in determining the sentence sentence, ultimately imposing a prison sentence with post-release supervision and emphasizing her need to reflect on her actions and their impact. One of the victims in this case survived these injections, and she actually said in a statement to the court that she has proof from friends that Castillo has continued to do the silicon injections. That won't be happening for at least four to eight years. Much more on that when I see you again at 6 o'clock tonight. That's the very latest live here in the Bronx. I'm Miles Miller. I'll send it back to you. Miles, thank you.